Will Melo be a difference maker? I believe he will um, because of Damian Lillard and C.J. McCollum. Um, I think that, you know, with, with Clay Thompson and um, – they, uh, with Klay Thompson and Steph Curry out, I mm -hmm. think an argument could be made that this is the best shooting backcourt in basketball. Um, at least an argument could be made about it. They're in the debate. They're in the discussion. And we give so much love to Damian Lillard, and he deserves every bit of it. Uh, we don't give enough love to C.J. McCollum and what this brother is capable of doing. Big-time player. And he shows up in big moments, yep. and he produces. C.J. McCollum <laughs> is a special, special dude. Yep. Having said all of that, you're Portland. You're off to uh, an unimpressive start at 5-10 and 10 after getting to the Western Conference Finals last year. You're thin on your front court due to injury. On top of all of that, you know, the Nurkic, the Collins, and, you know, these guys have been out. Um, uh, you lost Harkless. He's gone. He's with the Clippers now. And here you are with Carmelo Anthony, and you have an opportunity. We, this is not a James Harden, Mike D'Antoni offense where you stand around and play the role of spectator while D and James Harden dances on everybody and drops 40 on you in his sleep. This is a different ball game, even though Lillard is going to get his shots, even though C.J. McCollum is going to get his shots. They do a really good job with Terry Stotts and Terry Stotts' system of sharing the basketball, getting other people involved, um, uh, movement of the basketball. Guys aren't just standing around. And more importantly, they get guys a lot of open shots. And I think when you're asking Melo to, 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 to shoot contested shots, Max, it gets a little bit tricky because then I think, then I think he's, um, he's inclined to sort of post you up <laughs> use his body, go one-on-one, -on -one, hold the ball a little bit too long. When I spoke to Melo, uh, wishing him nothing but the best because I was very happy for him, I basically said, Joe, get rid of the ball. Attack or get rid of it. <laughs> Attack or get rid of it. That's what I've been saying all weekend to everybody. Good advice. But, but Damian Lillard wanted him for years. Uh, he went to Oklahoma City instead. He went to Houston instead. Damian Lillard had been one of them. C.J. McCollum wants him. And I think Melo said it best. It's great to feel wanted. And those guys, he knows they want him. And I think it's a situation that will bode well for him. I don't think he's going to be an all-star or a sensational player or whatever. But can Melo come off the bench and give you 15 a night or be in the starting lineup and give you 15 to 18 a night? I still believe he's capable of that. I don't think 15 or 18 a night. I would say um, he's not going to make a difference. And I don't know if he makes it through the season. I hope he does. Um, he has to be on the roster. Just a yeah. nugget. He has to be on the roster. December 7th. Uh, no, no, no. January, January 7th at 5 Sorry, p.m. January. If he makes it on the roster, if he's on the roster, then it's past guaranteed. That, then it's yeah. guaranteed. He's he guaranteed to be on the roster Antonio for the roster. Yeah, January 7th. Right, right, right. right. no, no, no. um, Melo knows how to I'm act. I, I hope he does. I'm rooting for him. I right. hope he has a nice end to his career in Portland and he makes some noise. I don't see it happening. Mm -hmm. Carmelo Anthony's um, greatness as a player, as an offensive player, was based on the fact that he could do everything on offense. By the way, including pass when he was at his best. Like, he had a lot of what they call gravity. He commanded so much defensive attention that at his best, he'd find the open man, too. Carmelo was a great offensive player, a great scorer. Really, that's what he did. But he wasn't a specialist. And at his age, in this NBA, he can do, he has like, in, in baseball, it's called 4A skills. Like, you're better than AAA, but you're not major league. He can do, he's a dangerous player in a way, because he can do everything where if you squint, it looks like, wow, why isn't he a star still in terms of his skills, right? But none of them well enough to be a guy who holds the ball that much. That's why you say attack or get rid of the ball. First, so I don't see, I, 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 he's not good at the catch and shoot three, and that's been the last couple of years. He's an awful defender at this point. He was once, maybe you were hoping could be serviceable, he's awful now. Um, but the real issue with this team, Stephen A., is what, what's the real issue with the Blazers? Forget about the, the front court offensive help they need. They lost Harkless, as you mentioned. They lost Al Farouk Amin, Aminu mm -hmm. in the offseason. Those yep. are like forwards, small forwards, power forwards. Yeah. But they're perimeter defenders, too. Yeah. They, they need perimeter defenders going into this season. That is the last thing Carmelo is. So he's not – he's a low-efficiency, high-volume scorer at mm -hmm. this point of his mm -hmm. career who can't defend. That's not what the Blazers need. Can he give you – 15 minutes a night, and you say 15 points. I say 15 minutes, and maybe drop 10 points. Sure, he could. He's an NBA caliber player, 
but he's not a specialist. He's not a defender. He does not give the Blazers what they need. I hope I'm wrong. I hope he shows up. Well, here's, here's what I think you're missing. I think, uh, Nurkic, you, 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 you love this guy before that nasty injury that he had. He was trending and up. They're, and they're being relatively vague about when he's going to come back, et cetera, et cetera, because obviously he's out. You have to look at it from that perspective and say, okay, so what he can bring to the table. That guy, Myers Leonard, I'm a fan of. Yeah, me too. Like, <laughs> I like him. I wish he was still there. I don't understand why they <laughs> lost him, but I like him a lot, okay? But you got Hassan Whiteside in there. You've got Nurkic ultimately coming back. Zach. Collins is no scrub once he comes back. Paul Gasol, the veteran that is Paul Gasol. So you've got size and defense at the rim. And their mentality is if we have that, then ultimately we can afford to get somebody who's not known for, for defense but can give us something from the perimeter offensively. Because those guys not only can defend on the front court, but also they can rebound, put back things of that nature because of the size that they have available to them. So we need somebody other than C.J. McCollum and Damian Lillard to rely upon in terms of hitting open perimeter shots because we know people are going to key on that. Based on that reality is where I get my 15 to 18 from because I think that you're not looking for other guys to shoot. You're not looking for that from them. You're so he's going to get like, more touches he's on the get, perimeter. He's going to get more touches, okay. and especially, especially if he attacks or pass. I, attacks or pass. You're talking about ideally. Here's what I think is a more realistic scenario where you could say Carmelo succeeded on this mm -hmm. team. You know why coaches love six men? You know why. Because sometimes the offense isn't working, whatever else is going on. You just need someone who can mm -hmm. go get you a bucket. Right. Right? You need that late in the game. Forget about efficiency. Forget about it. You yeah. just need when nothing's working. Carmelo, if he can become that guy in the second unit on this team, right. limited yeah. exposure, can just you go something. get you a bucket sometimes, he can have Pay a Pay attention to one thing, though. It's not like be alarmed when a guy can't get off his shot. But a guy that can shoot, if it's just not falling, never worry about that. I think that's that. a good point, too. He he's is still just, getting a shot he's off. He's still getting yep. with Hi. ease. With ease. Yeah, I agree it with that. just didn't fall. Like. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.